Hey guys, the Marshall Entity 4 here, back with another review. We got Transformers Reveal the Shield Retgar. Retgar transforms into a dirt bike and is a great homage to his um, old generation one self. My main problem with the vehicle mode is the fact that this kickstand doesn't really hold him that well, and he will, you know, you know that that's my main problem with this vehicle mode. But other than that, this figure is awesome. I really, when I first saw pictures of it, I was like, meh. Um, but you know, in in person, this figure is actually a very nice looking figure. Um, he has some flames on him, very nice flame decos. And you know, for me, you can put flames on anything, and I will buy it because it looks cool. I love the look of flames, especially on Retgar. Um, they look very nice, very char characteristic. Um, he has a rub symbol on here. I'm not going to bother rubbing that because you know they never work for me anyway. He has um, a lot of kind of holes there, which I'm not really a, f um, a big fan of. Um, he's kind of got a lot of open parts there, but other than that, really not a problem for the vehicle mode. The vehicle mode does look very, very nice. Um, he does have um, VHS, Visible Head Syndrome, but that can easily be solved um, just by kind of carefully rotating around the head, be careful not to get his moustache, and you can kind of just solve that problem there. And um, he's got that, you know, you can kind of see a little antenna sticking out, but hey, you can solve the problem. But the overall colour scheme looks very nice, very Generation 1 faithful. Um, overall he's got the orange, the kind of pinky orange, some red, some yellow, and some more um, pinkish peachy orange. But, you know, it's been very nicely done. This figure has really surprised me. Um, it does have a little um, weapon there. A little bit of integrated weapon storage just there. It does form his little, um, it's like a pinwheel. Um, on the box it says four bladed double axe. Um, well, four, no, four bladed axe. Why would it be a double axe? Anyway, you can kind of fold it out and that kind of auto morphs out. I like to think of this as like a ninja star, like animated prowl. It kind of goes shing. Um, I really like the way that looks. And it does have the three millimeter clip system, which will allow you to clip him, clip this weapon, sorry, um, onto his weapon storage for robot mode, which he does have, which is quite nice. Anyway, I'm going to remove that transformation anyway. Um, let's get right onto the transformation. First thing we're going to do is we're going to flip up that kickstand. Um, then we're going to grab this rear wheel here. We're going to fold this up like that. We're then going to grab this front wheel like that. Then we are going to come up here. We're going to rotate this around. Just rotate it. In fact, I rotate it that way. Sorry. Um, get the head up. Just get that out of the way. Just rotate the head around. Um, then I'm going to unpeg these. These actually do peg together um, fairly well. Keep the vehicle coming together. Um, we are then going to just unfold the legs like that and just kind of rotate them around. Unfold this leg here like that. Then these two pieces will just push in there just like so. Then we are going to grab the feet just kind of open them up. Um, this side's a little bit different. What we're going to do is going to push down on this and that will kind of automorph it and the handlebars will fold back. Then we can fold this forward, we're going to rotate it like that, and then he has um, the kind of symmetrical feet, um, but the legs aren't symmetrical as you can see. Um, but there are the legs, like that. I do like, actually like how they transform, they're actually kind of cool. Um, then up here, what we're going to do is we are going to kind of split this like that. This will all just peg on there. Pegs in really nicely, actually. And um, once we've done that, we're just going to rotate them. Um, rotate them around, just like that. We're going to rotate the fists around, like that. Rotate the arms out, and rotate the fists around. And there is Retgar in robot mode. Almost. Um, yeah, there's the robot mode. Now the robot mode looks very, very nice. As for this wheel, no, uh, uh, sorry. As for this wheel on this um, part here, I like to just leave it off to the back because it's supposed to form an arm shield by you just kind of unpeg this little piece here, and this is on a ball joint, so it allows you to swing it forward. Um, you can have it like that, but I feel it gets in the way, so I do like to just have it have it back. But I'll I'll just I'll leave it like this for the sake of the review. Um, but you know, this robot mode has been done really really nicely. Um, the head sculpt, oh god, the head sculpt looks amazing. He's got a better moustache than most people I've ever seen with a moustache. Um, that looks awesome. He's kind of got a goatee going on. And he's um, kind of got that grin 
going on. He has some, um, I mean, with all this clear plastic at the back of his head, this guy looks like he's going to have some bitching light piping, but he really doesn't because they paint it over the eyes. I don't know how well you can actually see it. Let me just kind of zoom in a little bit. You can see that they, they paint it over the eyes, which kind of sucks. Um, I would have preferred it you know, if they just left unclear. Then when you put this guy like displayed near a window or something, the light piping is really going to look good. But, you know, that's a minor gripe. Um, again, the flame deco um, is more of it in robot mode. You've got some on the um, chest here. The chest is very symmetrical, whereas the rest of the body is not. But, um, yeah, not really a problem. Um, it's very asymmetrical, which is very cool. Um, but, you know, the overall aesthetic of him looks amazing. With the two wheels, you know. I love how the wheels just kind of sit there. It's like, yeah, we don't give a crap. Um, that, I love that. I love how the wheels just kind of sit there. They look really cool. As for this weapon, he does hold it really well. Um, so we can have him like that. Or, we can, um, there's a little clip there. It's got a little hole. Well, you can actually peg this weapon into it. You can have it extended out. I like to fold it up. And um, that'll just peg on there. And you can just kind of store the weapons. Like that. And we're good to go. This figure is fantastic. I can't say that enough. I love it. Very nice looking vehicle mode. Very nice looking robot mode. A fantastic generation one homage. I'd really highly recommend this. Um, yeah, just just try and buy it. And also on the instructions, there is um, a new head mold on the instructions. So future repaint coming on. Hopefully it'll be another um, junkie on, so we can get them to ride each other. Kind of like something kind of wrong. Whatever. Um, but you know this figure is awesome. I do highly recommend it. Um, yeah. Anyway, um, that was my review. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys later.